We are an emergency services agency. We help people with food. We help people with rent payments. We're also an agency that, that helps people reinvent their lives. We help people transition out of living in, in a life of poverty, for example. This year is our, actually our 50th anniversary. About 15 churches actually came together 50 years ago. What they decided was to pool the resources that each one had and make a big pool so that when a person comes looking for some help, we could really help them like maybe with all of their rent instead of just a week's worth of rent. Our food pantry is probably our largest program. The amazing thing to me is that here we are in Elkhart experiencing probably the best economy we've ever had. Most people aren't aware that there's a whole other layer of people in our own community in, in need of help. There's a whole lot of people. When, when I'm talking 5,000 people, I'm uh, talking 10% you know, of Elkhart's population. 10% of the population is still needing help with everyday groceries and sometimes with rent and sometimes with prescriptions. And so there's still a great need. We have a program called Seed to Feed. It's an effort to grow fresh vegetables and fresh produce for guests in our food pantry. We have been able to expand it greatly over the years. We have 15 gardens now around the county. In fact, they're growing enough now that we're able to share it with other pantries around the area. You know, we had some people come to us and say, hey, you know, there's this, this uh, garden ministry deal that's going on. And, and uh, so because we have 33 acres here, and uh, not all of it is a uh, parking lot. We, uh, we plowed up uh, probably about a third of an acre and we've got a garden. And there's probably, uh, which is really cool, there's probably about 50 or 60 people that are on the garden team and we'll be getting after it here in a, in a few weeks. And, but we've had up to 18 or 19 tons of food that have come out of that. We have a program called Soup of Success. This is a program that helps women in particular transition out of the lives they've been leading so far. Some of the women want training on how to get a better job and how to interview well and that kind of thing. Most of the women need help in figuring out how to handle their finances well. Part of the program is our Soup of Success product line, which is a product line of soup mixes and cookie mixes and so on. They make mittens. This helps raise money to support the program, but more importantly, it teaches women the skills of working with other people. All the things that are that are real world issues in any job that you're gonna have. It's been phenomenally successful. We've graduated almost 300 women now. And when we graduate 300 women, we're also affecting 300 families in this area. We have a program that we used to have called Men Alive. We would really like to retool that and do the, have the same kind of impact on men's lives as we're having on women's lives. It's probably the biggest draw for us is the beginning and the continuing support of churches from all kinds of backgrounds and denominations come together to try to solve problems in Elkhart County. It seems like with churches, they have more things to talk about that are not alike uh, most of the time than are, that are, are alike. And so we, I really like the fact that there's something that they can all agree upon to do for the betterment of our community. And so that's very attractive to me. The fact that Church Community Services serves everybody who comes there, that it is one of those rare glimpses of the kingdom of God where the color of your skin or the language that you speak or the background that you come from means nothing, means absolutely nothing. If you have a, a need and, and your family is hungry, there's food for you. Really, in some ways, Church Community Services gives us an opportunity to catch a glimpse of what God intends our future to be. I need to be able to stand up in front of our congregation and ask for big dollars, confident that those agencies are using the money as we think they're using the money. I am absolutely confident that Church Community Services is above reproach when it comes to resources. And when we hand them over to Church Community Services, we have a great deal of trust that those are used faithfully and uh, wisely, that Church Community Services has the time and energy to do what we can't do, and the expertise. And you know, e even though we have a lot of support from churches, companies, individuals, can we use more? Of course we can use more. With added support, yes, we'd be going into expanding our super success program, definitely be looking at a mental life kind of program. Quite honestly, we would probably look at expanding our, our food pantry because right now a family can only come uh, once a month and they can only get maybe two or three days worth of groceries. What if that same family could come once a week? When you're part of CCS, when you're 
supporting CCS, you're helping people with today's problems, but you're also now helping people transition out of that kind of lifestyle. And we just think long term, that's hugely impactful, and that's where we need to be going as an agency. Clearly, we need to be going as a, as a society.